Hello guys. So this is a quick tutorial video to help anybody who is new to Sierra charts install the DAX Trader intraday strategy onto your Sierra platform. Now at this stage, what you should have already done is downloaded Sierra and installed it onto your computer. Once you've done that, you're ready for this video. And once we're finished with the video, you should have something that looks a bit like this, which will be the strategy running live on four charts, the DAX, FTSE, Eurostox, and the Dow. All right, but this is the end product, so let's go and get started and, uh, and get everything set up from the beginning. Okay, so once you've downloaded and installed Sierra Charts, it might not load up straight away, so you've got to find the installation. And one way you could do that is to open up your file explorer and go to your C drive, and the installation folder should be something like that. It will just be called Sierra Chart. Okay, and from there you can go into the folder and find the file that you need. But I'm going to go into this one because I've got two installations of Sierra Charts. And when I go into that folder, I'm going to click on this. There are two types you've got the regular Sierra Chart and you've got Sierra Chart 64. It just depends on whether your operating system needs to be 32 bit or 64 bit. I use Windows 10, which is 64 bit but it doesn't really matter which one I use. So I just typically use the, the regular one. So I double click on that and it will load up Sierra charts. Now, if this is the first time that you've loaded it up, like it is for me on this one, you'll have blank login details. So I recommend that you go and put in your Sierra charts account name and password and uh, click save password. So it will just automatically log you in each time. So I'll just do that now. Okay, here we are. So I've just logged in and it gives us the usual messages to say that it's loading everything up. And the first time that you do this, it might uh, take a, a minute or so. But what we're going to need to do is get Sierra Charts ready to go. So we are going to need to do a couple of basic things first of all. So let's just jump into those now. So I think I'll just start by clearing off some of these, these things. Now it says, welcome to Sierra Charts. The very first step when doing uh, or getting yourself set up is to configure your data services. So we'll just go and do that now. And um, let me just see. Now I'm going to just click no here because I just will use the default Sierra Chart data. Then it's nice and simple. You don't need to do anything else after that. And I'll clear this message log as well. So it leaves us with a blank screen. All right. Let's just jump straight in. So if we want to now load up a chart, because we've got to put our strategy on a chart, let's just get ourselves oriented with that. If we go up here to file, find symbol, and then we've got the available symbols box that's open here. I'm going to click on the plus arrow next to CFD and find JER30, which is the German DAX index. And I'm going to open intraday chart down here. Now, depending on how much data you've got or, or how fast your computer is, it's going to need to go and download the information, which might take a second or two. So I'm just going to pause this and come back once it's done. OK, so straight away, there are a lot of changes that I will need to make here to get this Sierra Charts platform looking more similar to the one that I'm used to. I forget just how many changes I've made to make it look the way it looks now. But that's the great thing about Sierra Charts. It's very customizable, very customizable. So um, the first thing, I have a scroll wheel on my mouse. And if I scroll up and down, it moves my chart left and right. Um, I just want to change that because I always use that as a zoom to zoom in and out. Uh, so we'll just go up here to global settings, general settings, general two, and then we'll just change the scroll wheel to the bottom option there. Okay. Scroll wheel changes spacing. Press OK on that. So scroll wheel now changes the spacing of the chart. The next thing to change is the way the candles look because we've got here uh, candlesticks or, or um, OHLC bars and I want to change that so I've just pressed 
on the keyboard F5, okay, to get the chart settings menu. And I'm just going to change that to candlestick bars. Press apply. Now, there are a lot of settings here that you can change. For the moment, I'm not going to change any of them. But these are what the default settings on my one are set up to be. Yours should be the same. So the coloring is different now. I want a white background and just different color candles. So I'm just going to change that as well uh, by going to global settings, graphics settings. And at the moment, chart background is black. I want to change that to white. And it said that if the background and the text are the same color, it's a bad thing. So I'm going to change the chart text to black. That gives you everything back on the chart. Okay. And I'll just change the candles as well. And um, change them to be whatever you like, really. But you'll need to change, excuse me, you'll need to change a couple of the things. So you've got the candlestick outline and the candlestick fill. And then you've got the down candlestick outline and the candlestick fill. So just for the sake of this, I'll just choose both of the outlines to be black. And I'll choose an up fill to be some kind of uh, very, very light blue. And I'll change the down fill to be a kind of a lighter red. And change whatever color you like. All right. That looks a little bit more familiar. Okay. Now we have the German DAX open at the moment and it's on the one minute chart as we can see up here on the left. Now I'm going to see whether I can change that to a two minute chart. There we go. I did that. So all I did is I clicked on the chart and I just typed the number two and then the letter M from, from a minute in a lowercase two M press enter and it changes it to a two minute time frame. Okay. And already we're pretty much good to go now and um, we can get the strategy onto the chart. So let's go and have a look at how to do that. But I've just noticed before I do that, I need to make one or two changes uh, here because if I click the chart and try to move it left or right, the chart is still fixed here. And that's because there are different kind of cursor tools you can use. And the default Sierra charts just gives us an arrow here, but I want what would be the hand tool, which allows us to click and drag the chart around. So I just need to make a couple of quick changes here. So global settings, I'm going to go down to tools, uh, tool settings under the general tab here. I'm going to find the after single tool use, and then we'll change it back to um, something else. So after single tool use, change it to, I'm just going to move that to hand. Okay. And in the same window under the general tab, we're going to check support vertical scaling. Just make sure that that is on there. Let's see where we can find that. Here it is. Support vertical scaling, movement with hand tool. And there's just one more thing I need to change, which is under the chart values tab up here. I'm going to click the always on when using other tools. Just make sure that that is selected. Let's just try that for the moment. And I'll just make sure that I've selected that. Okay. And then we just need to make sure that we've got everything set up. And just to complete my quick fix here, I'm just going to draw a quick line uh, because I'm still on this tool. And if I just click a line and just draw it, as soon as I've drawn it, it now has reverted back to the hand tool. So I click that line, press delete, and there we go. So we can now scroll in and out and we can move the chart around. So uh, it's a little bit easier for me to now use this. Now in a separate video, I'll show you how you can get your chart looking the same as mine with all of these control bars, but that's, we'll do that in a different session. All right, so let's go and have a look and see whether we've got everything all set up. Now, you should have completed all of the tasks on the web page to submit your 
Sierra Charts username uh, and provide that to me. Once I've got that, I can get Sierra Charts to give you access to the strategy. And then from now, I'm assuming that you've already done that. So let's go and get the, the strategy included on the chart then. If you haven't quite done that, then just go ahead and do that now. So just complete the instructions on the web page and um, submit your username and wait for me to confirm that you've been added. Once you've been added, just restart Sierra Charts, reload it up again, and then you can complete this next step. Okay, so the next step is we need to add the study onto a chart. So a study is basically an indicator. It's like a normal technical indicator that you would use on any other charting platform. That's what a study is on Sierra Charts. Two ways you can get them, right click on the chart and click studies, or analysis and then click studies. Well, three ways, you could also press F6 if you're using a brand new installation and not my template files, which is in the other video. So lots of ways you can get it. Um, so let's just do the analysis studies option here. And you can see in the studies available in the standard installation of Sierra charts, you've got everything that you would normally use, you know, all of the oscillators, uh, moving averages, and all the indicators that you're familiar with, they'll probably be in that list. But we're not doing that. We're looking at a custom study which I've built, and we're going to add that on. Now, you should already have access to this, and we'll find it down here. You click Add Custom Study and put the plus arrow next to DAX Trader DTI, double click on DAX Trader DTI, press OK, and that is it. Good to go. Simple as that. Now, if you want to add a few extra bits on here, then you can, like, for example, the VWAP, which I have, and um, the volume profile and all of that sort of stuff. You can add that on by going into studies. Um, for example, VWAP is under volume weighted average price over here. So you can play with that by just clicking add and then play around with the settings to find what you want it to be. I might just have something like this from memory. I can't recall exactly how it looked, but it was something like that. Okay, uh, the volume profile, oh, it's been such a long time since I've done this now, I can't remember exactly what I did, but uh, I would imagine it's volume by price. Let's try that. And then in there you've got all different sort of settings that you can use. Now the easiest thing to do is to just download my template file and the template file will be really, really easily installed onto this. Um, what you'll need to do is download the file and in your Sierra Charts folder here where we just clicked on the, the file, in your data file you can just simply drag and drop the details that you need which will be the file template that I will give you. Once you drop that on it will include a couple of the things that you will normally have anyway, uh, or that you'd expect to have. So it'll have the volume profile on the right, it'll have this VWAP part on it, and it will also have the gray shaded section that tells you when I am not gonna be trading, all right? So uh, go over to the website, scroll right down to the bottom of the page for the DAX Trader strategy, and at the bottom of that page, there will be a section that says template files, and you can download the files for yourself on there and click and drag them into the data folder that I've just shown you there. And uh, let's just show you how that would look once we've got them installed. Okay, so I've just downloaded uh, some of the files. The file name might be different for you because I'm probably going to have renamed this folder by the time you get it. But this is the folder, it's a zip file. So you just simply click and drag it into your Sierra Charts folder. It might be better if you actually have the data folder open rather than just the regular folder, but the same way will be fine. So I've just dragged it into my Sierra Charts data folder. Get rid of that. 
and then you just simply extract it. And then once it's extracted, uh, you'll have four separate files. And I'm just going to delete the zip file now. I don't need that anymore. And there are four files here, DTI DAX, DTI DAO, DTI FTSE, and DTI Stocks. All right. Okay, so that's that. We don't need any more from there. One last bit of prep that we need to do before we get everything set up. So I've just right-clicked studies, just remove everything from the study graph. So you've got this. Now let's get ourselves four charts set up. So we're going to click on chart and we're going to find duplicate chart. Uh, there it is. Duplicate. We're going to do that two more times. Duplicate. Duplicate. Okay. Then we're going to tile the windows. Okay. And just as a grid. Okay. And that is nearly done. What we now need to do is to get the charts set up for the different markets. So for us, we're going to use, uh, let's have a look here. So DAX top left, UK 100. I was hoping that would work, but it didn't. So we'll click F5 and down here where it's a symbol, we'll go and find UK 100. Press OK. Press OK. That will download some history. We'll do the same for the Dow, so F5, US 30 for that one. And then on the bottom right, press F5, and it's that, EUSTX 50 for Eurostoxx 50. Okay. So we'll press OK on that one, and then we'll come back once all of that data is downloaded. Oh, I uh, downloaded a little while ago, but I just stepped away from the computer for a moment. Uh, so that's all done. That's all downloaded. And so we're pretty much there now. All we now need to do is apply the templates to this, uh, to these four charts, and it's set, ready to go. So to, to do the templates, as we've already copied the files over, all we need to do up here is click on Analysis, and there they are. So you click on DTI DAX on the DAX chart. On the FTSE chart, you just click on DTI FTSE. On the Dow, just click on DTI Dow. And for the Euro stocks, it's DTI stocks. There you go, all done. You now have all of the profile data on the right. You've got your VWAP on there. You've got the session details. You've got the DTI indicator. And you are ready to rock. That's it. Now, the other video, if you want to watch that, that will get all of your control bars and everything else set up similar to my one, which means your Sierra charts will be ready to go. But if you don't want to do that, then hopefully this tutorial has got you pretty much everything that we talked about at the beginning of the video, uh, and you are now set up, ready to go. Excellent. All right, guys. Hope you have a lot of fun with it. As always, guys, thank you for watching. Uh, like and subscribe to the channel to keep updated with new content. Uh, you can subscribe over here. The website is thedaxtrader.co.uk. Have a great trading session and we'll catch up with you soon. Take care.